Imagine a machine capable of protecting its crew from the most modern threats, overcoming any obstacles, and striking back at the enemy on the battlefield. It looks like something from the future, yet it already exists. This is the Kurganets 25, Russia's latest armored personnel carrier, designed to replace outdated vehicles. But is it really that good? Let's dive into the details. The Kurganets 25 is a universal combat platform developed in Russia. Unlike older BMPs and APCs, this vehicle offers a completely new level of protection, mobility, and firepower. It is designed to transport infantry, provide fire support, and carry out combat missions in the most challenging conditions. But what makes it special? Let's start with protection. The Kurganets 25's hull is made of multi-layered armor capable of withstanding heavy caliber bullets, shrapnel, and even some anti-tank weapons. For additional security, the vehicle is equipped with the Afghanit Active Protection System. This technology detects and neutralizes incoming enemy missiles before they can hit the target. In addition to armor and active protection, the Kurganets 25 features an optical electronic suppression system. What does this mean? Imagine the enemy trying to lock onto the vehicle with a laser-guided missile. At that moment, the Afghanit system creates interference, making the vehicle invisible to the enemy. This greatly increases the crew's chances of survival. Now let's talk about firepower. Depending on the modification, the Kurganets 25 can be equipped with various combat modules. For example, the APC version is armed with a heavy cord machine gun. In the case of the infantry fighting vehicle variant, it carries a 30mm 2A42 automatic cannon, capable of effectively engaging infantry, lightly armored targets, and even low-flying aerial threats. Additionally, the IFV variant of the Kurganets 25 can carry Cornet anti-tank missiles. These missiles can penetrate the armor of modern tanks, making the vehicle a serious threat on the battlefield. By comparison, older BMP-2 and BMP-3 models lacked such capabilities and were vulnerable to modern armored vehicles. Mobility is another strong feature of the Kurganets 25. Unlike older tracked vehicles, it is equipped with a hydropneumatic suspension that allows for adjustable ground clearance depending on the terrain. This means the vehicle can raise itself for rough terrain movement and lower itself for better stability during combat. Its 800 horsepower engine allows the vehicle to reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour on highways. In contrast, the older BMP-2 could only reach up to 65 km per hour. With an operational range of 500 kilometers, the Kurganets 25 is well suited for long duration missions. What about water? Yes, the Kurganets 25 is amphibious. It can cross water obstacles using special water jet propulsion systems. With a speed of up to 10 kilometers per hour on water, it becomes indispensable for crossing rivers and swampy terrain. Now let's talk about crew comfort. Inside, the vehicle features modern ergonomic seats, climate control, and digital communication systems. The infantry squad is positioned in the rear compartment and can quickly exit through a convenient ramp. This is a significant improvement over older models, where entry and exit were less convenient and took more time. Vehicle operation has also become easier. In the past, the driver had to rely only on the instrument panel and periscopes. Now, they have digital displays, 360-degree cameras, and even night vision. This allows for effective operation in challenging conditions, whether at night, in the rain, or in fog. The Kurganets 25 is designed with modern warfare requirements in mind. It integrates into a military command system, allowing it to exchange data with other combat vehicles and headquarters in real time. This makes it part of a unified combat network, where each vehicle receives up-to-date enemy information. Despite all these advantages, the Kurganets 25 still has issues. Mass production has not yet started, and the vehicle is still undergoing testing. The main question is how quickly Russia can establish production and supply the military with enough of these vehicles. The exact cost of the Kurganets 25 is not disclosed, 
but experts estimate it could range from $4 to $6 million per unit, depending on the configuration. This makes it more expensive than older models but cheaper than Western counterparts such as the German Puma or the American M2 Bradley. Many experts compare the Kurganets 25 to Western equivalents. In terms of protection and firepower, the Russian vehicle is on par with or even surpasses some foreign models in certain aspects. However, much depends on funding and production rates. It is worth noting that the Kurganets 25 is not just a single vehicle but an entire platform. In the future, it could serve as the basis for command vehicles, armored ambulances and even air defense systems. This makes the project highly promising and opens up new possibilities for modernizing the army. In conclusion, the Kurganets 25 represents a significant step forward in Russian armored vehicle development. It combines protection, mobility, and powerful weaponry, along with modern control and communication systems. If the vehicle enters mass production, it could significantly change the tactics of mechanized units. If you enjoyed this analysis, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment sharing your thoughts on the Kurganets 25. Want to see breakdowns of other combat vehicles? Let us know your suggestions. We'll be sure to consider them. See you next time.